Hey, welcome back. My name is Dino. Uh, this mini video is on heuristic evaluation tips. Uh, more specifically, uh, I will go over some tips that you should consider when conducting a website evaluation using like, a heuristic evaluation. First off, uh, the duration of the heuristic evaluation. Typically, these types of evaluation sessions or for an individual evaluator, they should last one or two hours. So they're not super long. Uh, longer evaluation sessions might be necessary for large or very complicated interfaces with a substantial number of dialogue elements. Uh, but it would be better to split up the evaluation to several smaller sessions, each concentrating on a part of the interface. So as a result, if you want to do a good heuristic evaluation, aim to have a shorter intensive evaluation session. Uh, in terms of interface evaluation. Uh, during the evaluation session, the evaluator goes through the interface several times, and inspect, inspects the various dialogue elements and compares them with a list of recognized usability, usability principles. This, these are the heuristics. Uh, these, these heuristics are general rules that seem to describe common properties of usable interfaces. So as a result, when you're doing a heuristic evaluation with, uh, with evaluators, this type of evaluation is a multi-step, time-intensive process. It's not like instantaneous. In addition to the checklist of general heuristics to be considered for all dialogue elements, the evaluator obviously is also allowed to consider any additional usability principles or results that come to mind that may be relevant for any specific dialogue element. From this, um, these heuristics provided like a guide with specific uh, points and on a checklist to evaluate. But they should also be open-ended, uh, so that it, so that open-ended interactions uh, between the evaluator and the website can provide uh, your valuable feedback. Like you want them to have some kind of uh, autonomy to look for specific things that they might find are interesting or unique to your site. Uh, in terms of iterative evaluation, this is not a one a one uh, stop evaluation. Uh, quote, a general recommendation would be that evaluators go through the interface at least twice, however. The first pass would be intended to get a feel for the flow of the interaction and the general scope of the system. The second pass then allows the evaluator to focus on specific interface elements while knowing how they fit into the larger whole. As a result, the heuristic evaluation should be a gradual multi-step process and it shouldn't be collapsed into one. Uh, usage scenarios. In terms of the, this evaluation approach, you supply the evaluators with a typical usage scenario, listing the various steps a user would take to perform a sample set of realistic tasks. Such a scenario should be constructed on the basis of a task analysis of the, uh, of the actual users and their work in order to be as representative as possible of the eventual use of the system. As a result, task-centric evaluation can focus usability feedback so that you're getting very specific feedback about these tasks these usage scenarios instead of sort of more random uh, evaluation. In terms of evaluation results, the result uh, is a list of what will, will come out as a list of usability problems in the interface with references to those usability principles that were violated by the design in each case in the opinion of the evaluator. Evaluators quote should explain why they do not like it with reference to the heuristics or to other usability results. Other evaluators should try to be as specific as possible and should list each usability problem separately. As a result, the evaluation provides a focused, actionable list of usability issues that you identify and then ideally rectify. Finally, but end with limitations. The heuristic evaluation is an evaluation. It does not provide a systematic way to generate fixes to the usability problems or a way to assess the probable quality of any redesigns. So again, it's more of evaluative. However, it is an introductory step that is important to addressing usability issues. Like you need the evaluation to ideally over time improve the site through, through redesigns. That was Heuristic Evaluation Tips. My name is Dino. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like this video if you like it. Please feel free to add comments. What do you think about the duration of your heuristic evaluation? Um, um, what are your thoughts on iterative evaluation? How many times should you iterate? Um, do you have a website that has uh, a very a various usage scenarios that could help provide user feedback that's very focused? Um, and then ultimately, after an evaluation is ideally done well, what what can you what can you take from that, and what can you do to improve your site through a redesign? 
Uh, finally, if you like this type of video, uh, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. That was a, a heuristic evaluation tips. Thanks for watching.